All right, guys. Have you ever faced a situation and said, I can't do this? There's no way I can handle the pressure, pay my bills, save this relationship, keep things organized, um, hit my goals, lose the weight, right? Maybe, maybe you're in it right now. Uh, me too. I'm there. And that's why we're having this conversation. Uh, but listen, I want you to know there's always a way. It may not be easy. It may not be convenient. Um, and it probably won't come too quickly either. We probably will have to think differently and go at it, go through it, go over it, figure it out and pull it apart. And you'll have to keep going until you figure it out. But the, the thing is, we can't quit. Quitting isn't the option. Now, failing might be okay, but quitting is not. Maybe we need a different approach. And it, this has been heavy on my heart uh, to share this message with you because I get it. You know, sometimes it, it feels easy to just say, listen, I, I'm done. I'm going to throw up my hands. Maybe this isn't meant to be. Uh, maybe this is just not for me. But I feel like if if this is in your mind and on your heart, whatever it is, right, whatever the vision is, whatever the goal is, it's probably yours to have. We just have to figure out how to do it. So I don't I don't want you to quit. Uh, you know, and, and I get it. Like maybe you're already not on track. You know, we're, we're a little into this new year and the end of the first quarter is coming very quickly. And it might feel like really frustrating because you're not on track, but instead of dwelling on the difficulty or on the obstacles in front of you, I, if we could shift our thinking, right. If we could shift our thinking to figuring it out, then we could be back on track and get closer to what it is we say we want, right? So again, whatever you're struggling with, whether it's weight loss like me, yes, I said it, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I am, I'm frustrated. Listen, I, I'm doing all the things that I think I should be doing, um, but I'm not really seeing the results I want fast enough. And it, you know, I've had those moments, right? I've had those those thoughts, right? And And the thing is though, when I think about what I just said to you, there's a lot packed into that, right? When I say that I'm frustrated, I'm doing all the right things, but I'm not seeing the results fast enough. So what what's really going on and what could I learn from what's really going on? Well, I guess I could ask myself some questions. Like, let's take a look at what it is that I am actually doing, right? How can I revisit my whole game plan here? Am I really being as effective? And I'm, am I really making all the right choices? Um, are there any adjustments that I need to make? Another question I have to ask myself is, am I as committed as I could be? You see, when you start to look at and strategize on figuring it out, and you start to ask yourself these questions, you, you can come up with a lot of information that might provide you with a better way of attacking the problem. And then doing that, it could lead you down the path of different results. But allowing our frustration to come in and allowing that frustration to make me feel like I should give up on, on losing weight, um, then what am I really saying? If I'm If I'm willing to let frustration take over, then am I saying it's not worth it to lose weight? Which essentially, am I saying I'm not worth it? Am I saying that my health doesn't matter, right? Um, because that's really what I think I'm saying. And so that's what we have to get honest about when we feel like we want to give up or we feel like we want to quit. We have to get honest about what are we really quitting on? A lot of times we're quitting on ourselves. And so I realize I'm not willing to give up on my health. I'm not willing to give up on my vitality. I'm not willing to give up on having more energy or, or more years of living and spending time with the people I love. I'm not willing to give up on that. So I have to really get clear now about what it is I have to do to get back on track. And, and that's my message for you today. And because we're all in it together, right? We all have these feelings and these moments of wanting to quit. And I just wanted to come on and, and say to you, don't give up.
it's just giving up is not an option. Now, failure is okay because from failure, we can learn a lot, but giving up is not an option, right? Because when we give up, we are saying that we're basically giving up on something or someone, right? So should we give up on love? Should we give up on our finances, on our personal growth? Should we give up on our career or our business? No, right? Because again, quitting something is essentially surrendering and basically giving up on yourself. Why do we do this? Well, I think one of the biggest problems that we all face is fear. And I think anytime that we step out of our comfort zone, anytime that we set a goal, right? A new intention, we want to try something new, we want to figure it out, fear shows up. And, and you know, whether it's low level excitement or full-blown panic, right? Our, our energy, our emotions start coming into play whenever we set out on these new goals. And for most of us, we also start to experience some degree of fear, right? Our mind automatically starts going to the what ifs. And it usually is the, you know, the what if around, you know, what if something goes wrong? What if I don't do it? What if I can't do it? Well, what if, what if, what if that could be uh, a, the start to a, a more positive statement? Like, well, what if I achieve my goals? What if I change my life, right? Imagine if our mind could be programmed to automatically go into what if I accomplish something, right? What if I change my whole life? Uh, what if I become more successful, right? What if we could move ourselves into that way of thinking? Imagine we would be unstoppable, right? But when when the spirit of fear shows up, um, it's always going to try to stop us from going forward. And I, I want to just unpack a little bit of, of fear and what it is, right? I think that fear, I believe that fear is false evidence appearing real. I'm going to say it one more time. I believe that fear is false evidence appearing real. I mean, what is it that we are fearing? If we were to take, I mean, if you were to write it all down, if you were to keep a journal, uh, imagine if you were to write down all the things you were fearful of and then review it, I would guarantee that 90% or more of the things that we were fearful of never happened. We hold on to and project into a meaning that, that allows us to think of all the things that could go wrong and the potential isn't even there. I mean, consider this, think about the situations that you handle really well right now. Think about something that is really in your strength zone, something that you've learned over time to do really, really well. But at one time, you were scared about it. You were scared to develop that skill. You were scared to enter into that you know, work. You were scared to put yourself out there, whatever it is, right? That thing that you do really well right now, you were at one time afraid of it. But now you see when you look back that that fear was based on, on, on nothing. It wasn't based on reality. And if you had allowed yourself to stay behind the fear, then you wouldn't be as far along as you are today. You wouldn't be doing that thing really, really well, right? So I think when we push through the fear and we realize that we can accomplish more than what we thought, right, then we need to, to take that Sorry, I'm going to start, stop. We pushed through the fear and we did it anyway. And now we see that it became a strength. What would you try and accomplish if nothing could stop you? It's the fear of something that holds us back, right? It could be the fear of failure. It might even be the fear of success. But oftentimes, what's making us think like we should quit or give up is based on fear. And here's the thing, guys. I believe we're designed and created for great things. 
I think we're designed and created for adventure. I believe we're on this planet with this one life that we're given to experience as much as possible so that we can try new things, create opportunities for ourselves and others and, and really have, you know, amazing experiences. Because again, you are more capable than you want to believe. So it's time for us to stop letting fear get in between us and our dreams. It's time to stop saying things like, what if I can't, and turn it into how can I? It's time to start fearing, sorry, one more time. It's time to start believing that failure doesn't mean that we can't do something. It's time for us to understand that failure is part of our path to success, right? That doesn't mean that because we experienced a misstep or we're a little off track or things got hard or it didn't work out that it wasn't meant to be. It just means that you have to figure out a different way to have it, right? Because failure is powerful. Failure is the stepping stone to accomplishment, right? Because the path to success is never a straight line and the path of success is not a short line either. I think the path of success is more like a cha-cha, one step forward, two steps back, right? So when we fail at something, it just means that we missed our mark and that we have to think differently. It means that we have to take some time to review and reflect and figure out what the next step really is. Because if we give into our fears, we'll surely stop ourselves right in our track. And so is it really the fear getting in our way or is it ourselves? And I think that no matter who we are, we all face fear. So I just want to, I want to normalize that too for a minute in case anyone is feeling like, oh yeah, I shouldn't be so fearful. No, <laughs> We none of us should, yet we all do, right? We all experience fear. And I'm just trying to normalize that for a second because we're human. And I think that we have an opportunity to change things when we're honest about. So this is today's our honest conversation about how we have to get out of our own way and stop fearing so many things and not tell ourselves that it's time to quit and give up on our goals and our dreams just because it feels like we're not on track. Right. So I think that at the end of the day, if you want to move to your next level and you want to have the things that you want in life, right, if you want to move to your next level in anything, then you need to break free from this fear based thinking. And I think it's important for us to understand some things that we're fearful of. Right. I think one of the things that we're fearful of is we're fearful of what other people think about us and what they think about our choices and our goals. And this is definitely one thing to let go of right now in 2024, because your decisions cannot be based on what other people think, and it can't be based on getting someone's approval. Your decisions have to be based on following your heart and knowing exactly what you want and knowing that your dreams matter and that you are an, a unique individual on your own path. And that following that path is your key to fulfillment. But if you're going to pursue anything because you want someone's approval, you will find yourself very quickly uh, second guessing and feeling overwhelmed and probably out of alignment with your own values. I think that when we worry more about other people, we sell ourselves short. So the fear of what other people think is definitely one that gets in our way. I, I think another fear many of us face is the fear of criticism. Criticism is always hanging out with fear. And I think that for a lot of us, we want to look good. We want to be right. Uh, that's just part of, a, a, I think, another part of human existence, right? I think deep down, we have to admit, we want others to think that we're smart. We want other people to see our talents, to see our brilliance. We want people to, um, you know, think that we're capable. And, and because of all that, we fear their judgment. And that fear sometimes really stops us from trying new ideas. And it puts... Um, so much pressure that we may even 
hold back and not try new things or we, we hold ourselves back from putting ourselves out there enough. And I think that when we play small, we can't reach our full potential. So here's the thing, guys, what others think about you is none of your business. It doesn't matter because what, the only thing that matters is what you think of yourself. And I think that in anything you want to accomplish in your life, the pursuit of your goals has to be about progress and not perfection. So the first person that you have to talk to about being easy on you is you. I think that we have to allow ourselves to experience growth, humility, vulnerability. We have to acknowledge that we're not perfect. And we have to acknowledge that we're doing the best we can at any given moment. Maybe the opportunity is to do better or do different. And by doing that, we might have to learn more and do different, right? And that's fine. But this whole fear around people's judgment just creates so much toxicity in our lives, right? It'll steal your joy. So look, I think that we have to understand and accept that some people are going to disagree or disapprove or not have the same likes that you have, right? Not have the same uh, perspective that you have. And it's okay. They don't have to agree with everything that you do. They may not even have to understand it. Um, it's okay. It's really okay, right? And when people voice their opinion, it's usually more about them than it is about you. So don't let it stop you. Okay, I think another fear we hold on to is the fear of making the wrong decision. For some, for some people, decision-making is easy. Uh, it's quick, it's intuitive. They are able to solve problems um, and, and they're able to solve problems rapidly and move on. Um, but for others, it doesn't work out that way. For some people, um, you know, the decision-making process is more of a struggle. It is something that they may uh, spend a lot of time analyzing, even to the point of paralysis, right? So what I think is important for us to really get clear about is that if we question ourselves too much, or if we carry on more of that inner dialogue, right, where we're being... Uh, critical with ourselves, we're debating with ourselves, we're second guessing all of our decisions. Um, we can get lost in that and, and that can create a lot of confusion and self-doubt and actually stop us in our tracks from, from creating the strategic solutions that will help us get what we want. And, and if you stay there, that alone can have you feeling like maybe this isn't meant to be and I need to quit. Don't allow it. If you take one thing away from today, have faith in yourself, have faith in your decisions, believe that you have the power to figure it out. Don't assume that you're wrong. Assume that you are onto something. Find the confidence that you need to, to believe that you can, can do it, that you, that you have what it takes, right? Because it's always about fear or faith and now you get to choose. Another fear that really holds us back, the fear of change. Without change, there is no growth. And anything that is not growing is basically dying. So my loves, I understand that for some of you, change is, is, is hard. Here's what I want you to understand. Change is part of life. And the more we fear it or resist it, the more we are resisting nature and the universe itself both of which are here to support you. If we resist change, we're basically saying we wanna stay the same. And deep down inside, I know that isn't what you want. You wanna think bigger. You wanna achieve more. You want to see different results. Whatever that goal is in any area of your life, it's there for a reason. So how can you embrace change just a little bit more each day? How can we say yes to living? Because that's what, what it's about, you know, to live is to experience changes. 
And, and like I said, change is a part of life. And we all go through stuff in life. We all go through stuff in life. You know, we even say that, right? We even tell people, I'm going through something right now. So honestly, what are we saying? We're saying that we're living. To live is to be challenged sometimes. To live is to experience change. To live is to try new things. To live is to experience the wins and to experience the lessons that the misses teach us. To live is a gift. To be alive is a blessing. Don't give up on anything that is important to you. Don't quit. Figure it out. And maybe you need help. I get that. Maybe, maybe you're you need someone to to talk to, someone to strategize with, a coach, a mentor. That's fine. Seek out the help you need. Look, maybe you're not on track, as I said. The first quarter uh, is is quickly coming to an end. Okay. What do you need to do? What do you need to do differently? Take a few minutes and assess where you are. Then take a look at where you want to be or where you need to be. There's a gap there. All right. How do we bridge that gap? We have to ask ourselves some questions, right? We need to ask ourselves, what can we learn from the situation we're currently in? What adjustments do I need to make, right? What other questions do I need to ask of myself and maybe others around me? Who can help me? Rather than quitting, ask for help. I know that's hard for some of us too. That could be another thing that gets in our way is the resistance or the reluctance to asking for help. But we need to be comfortable with that, right? Because we're all here to support each other. And you might just be one person away or one conversation away from having that aha moment. The choice is yours, right? The choice is always yours. The choice on how we proceed, how we live our lives, right? I don't want you to settle. Don't you dare settle. You will face a lot of challenges in life. You already have, right? Think about what you've already come through. You're going to face more challenges and you're going to face some obstacles. You're going to encounter difficulties as you go through life, as you build your business, as you navigate your career, as you raise your children, as you travel life with a partner, as you develop your spirituality, as you understand the world around you and yourself, you're going to experience challenges. But we have choices and the choice starts with how we decide to tackle all of it right? How, how we bring energy into all of it, who we want to be, how we show up. Are we willing to play big and not small, right? Do we have the champion mindset? Do you bring a spirit of achievement to what you do? That doesn't mean that you have all the answers. That doesn't mean that you are not going to ever make a mistake, right? But I think having a spirit of a champion or having a spirit of achievement. What I mean by that is that you have a belief system. You have a belief system that no matter how hard the road gets, no matter how tough it might be, you've got some grit to you. You have some resilience and you're willing to figure it out and that we're willing to be patient with ourselves and also kind to ourselves. Okay. Now, listen, I've quit before too. So this is as much of a message and a reminder for me as it is for you, which most things on this podcast are, uh, me oftentimes teaching myself first. And yes, I've quit before too. And there's lessons that I've learned from that as well. And that's why I'm so passionate about creating a space where we can have conversations like this, because sometimes we have to pull our strengths together and we have to really get clear about how to move forward. And listen, Let's not also ignore the fact that there might be some things that are good to quit, like quit smoking, quit complaining, quit doubting yourself, right? So those are good things that we can quit. But today's message is not really about that. Today's message is about not giving up. And today's message is about 
not quitting on the most important things that matter to you. That's what today is about. Maybe it's even a little bit about sucking it up. <laughs> Maybe it's also about us getting real with ourselves and saying, okay, Maybe my mindset has been a little negative. Maybe I've been complaining a little too much. So maybe now it's time I have to figure it out, get back on track and look for the people that can help me, find the answers, find the resources, look for the opportunities, right? Instead of all of the problems. Listen, there's a reward waiting for you. There's a reason why your goals matter to you right? There's something on the other side of all of this work and all of the challenges and all the adversity, right? There's something waiting for you. That's what I want you to focus on. Keep your eye on the prize. Because what's, what's probably happening is you're paying too much attention to what's not working. And again, if we could shift some energy and we could shift some focus to what needs to be done, what we might need to change. We might find a lot of solutions there and we might find that we could get on track a little faster than we thought. Pay attention, pay attention to the things that are working in your life. Because what I believe is that oftentimes we're more on track than we think. We're actually achieving uh, success. It's just, it's just slow. Right. We might be winning so gradually that we're not paying enough attention and it, it might feel like we're not there. But suddenly, if you stay the course, suddenly the results do show up. So listen, you can't quit because you never know when it's going to change. You never know with that little bit more effort, suddenly the results start coming in. We can't quit. We can't quit because we never know where that pot of gold is. So it's about moving forward, tracking your progress, and really, I think, learning how to persevere, how to identify as an overcomer and an achiever. That's who you are. I see you as that person. That's who you are. So we're not quitting. We're not giving up and we're not quitting. We're just going to figure it out. I know you needed to hear this today and I needed a reminder too. So thank you for allowing us to create the space where we could just be real with each other. I so appreciate and love you and I'm rooting for you. I'm in your corner. So don't quit. Don't quit. Just stay the course. Let's do this together. I'll talk to you soon.